Hi, this is Fazan again. Um, in this video, I'll show you the connection between the nth term of linear sequences and the equation of a straight line. Um, I've never heard um, a student actually say that they were taught the connection between the two um, before, uh, but I find this makes it so easy to understand straight line graphs and it makes it so easy to calculate the y values when you're plotting a straight line graph. Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, so the formula for the nth term is a n plus c, where a is the difference in numbers, n is the pattern number, and c is the zeroth term. So you're going back one. Um, in a straight line equation, y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient of the line, and the great and you find that with um, calculating the change in y divided by the change in x, and c is your y-intercept. And if you notice the c and the c, and they're exactly the same. Let me show you. Okay, so if we had to calculate the nth term here. Um, and you remember this, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. So your nth term is 3n. And then you go backwards. And because we're going backwards, we're going to minus 3. And 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Now, your nth term is 3n minus 1. And if you plot these points as x and y, which I've done in the next slide, so let's have a look. So you've got your 0, minus 1, 1, 2, 2, 5. It actually um, is the straight line graph with the equation y equals 3x minus 1. And the nth term, we had 3n minus 1. Yeah. The way to find the gradient, of course, I hope you remember, you make your triangle there <laughs> and you your change in y will be between 2 and 5, which is 3, and your change in um, x is 1, so you can see your gradient would be 3 divided by 1, which is how you get the 3, and then your c is your y-intercept, which is 0 minus 1, and that, of course, was your zeroth term. Okay, so you can tell they are connected. These are called linear sequences and this is called a linear graph. Yeah, let's take another example. Okay, so if you're asked to complete the table of, uh, of values for y equals 2x plus 5, then you can actually use the nth term to plot. because you know your zeroth term is 5, so that's where the 5 goes. And then your difference in numbers is the 2. So you go 5 plus 2 is 7, and then plus 2 is 9. And when you're going backwards, you're going minus 2. So 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 minus 2 is 1. So everybody else in your class is substituting 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 plus 5 is 1, whereas you're using the nth term to plot the values. Um, so do tell all your friends about it. <laughs> um, so it makes it their life easier. All right, cool. Let's take a look at a negative one. Okay, so we're trying to plot the straight line with this equation. So you can see your c is 1, and then your difference in numbers is minus 3. So you go 1 minus 3, which you get minus 2, and then minus 3, which will be minus 5, and minus 3, which is minus 8. And this way, you're adding 3. So 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. Okay? And let's try and sketch this one as well. Okay. 
Okay, so you can see the equation here is y equals minus 3x plus 1, and our nth term was minus 3n plus 1. Okay, so you can actually see the connection. Yeah? All right. I hope the connection between linear sequences and linear graphs was easy to grasp. I find that a lot of my students, when they start tuitions with me, find straight line questions really confusing. Once I've explained the connection to nth term, which they love, they suddenly find straight lines less overwhelming. Keep working hard. It's so worth it. Remember, you're in control. I know I keep saying that, but it's so true. Life is all about choices. Um, working hard is a choice. Um, which leads to great grades, great grades. <laughs> All right, until next time, take care. Bye.